Space Coast Channel's Lively Brevard. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Malak. And we're here with Frank and Lance from the Lions Club in Satellite Beach. It is Satellite Beach Day. I love that. And uh, we have to actually say Lion Lance and Lion Frank. I would love to know what the story is behind that. Right. A little about the Lions Club, obviously. So would you please? Well, within the club, everybody is uh, addressed as uh, Lion Frank or Lion Lance. Uh, the Satellite Beach Lions Club was chartered in 1960 by uh, Lions Club International. And uh, mm -hmm. Lions Club International is the largest service club in the world. Uh, and their focus is basically uh, site conservation and uh, blind services and disaster relief. My father uh, was a lion his entire life, and he's actually a, a Melvin Jones lion. So can you tell us um, a little bit about the history and what that means? Well, Melvin Jones started the Lions Club and uh, as a, a men's group with a community minded uh, to raise money and do things in the community. At uh, some point, Helen Keller challenged him to be the Knights of the Blind and wanted him to take on the, um, the challenge of raising awareness and helping with blind. Wonderful. And that's very personal to me since I'm legally blind. And uh, this organization really um, services my community a lot and means a lot. So. Uh, yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's a great, um, you know, in the Lions Club, obviously, there's several locally, we know that. And I attended actually a few meetings myself. And you just mentioned it started off to be a men's, correct? So tell us now. So obviously that's no longer all true, correct? Correct. Somewhere around 1987? I believe in 1987 uh, there were originally clubs called Lioness Clubs. And uh, in about 1987 uh, they were, most of them were enfolded into the regular Lions Clubs. However, uh, they could, could still be Lioness Clubs if they wanted. So they're welcomed, obviously. Yes. Women are welcomed, you know, because I know, like I said, I attend a civil and a sauntry, you know, so it's great. Uh, what you do for the community is amazing. It really is. And, and that's what I think is uh, the most giving, one of the most giving, obviously, of clubs. Can you tell us about what you are doing for our local community satellite or all around us? What are you doing to help the community? Well, we, we take on many projects. Uh, we have a lot of community minded projects. Uh, we we uh, raise money for a wheelchair for beach access for handicap and anyone that's in a wheelchair that could um, you know couldn't go to the beach on a normal day can go to the Satellite Beach Fire Department and arrange to get this wheelchair brought to them and they will take it to the beach and they can take and uh, actually go out on the beach with the wheelchair and I think that's an awesome thing. So you all purchased that wheelchair, correct? You mm -hmm. raised yes, the funds correct. and purchased that wheelchair mm -hmm. and it's specifically made for the beach, right? Yes, yes, and it's, yes. it has the big beach tires. It's got big, big balloon tire. tires on oh, wow. it and it's made with materials that the salt won't corrode. That is so wonderful. And does it cost anything to rent this wheelchair? No, they just have to arrange, they sign an agreement just to bring, you know. To bring it back. To bring it back. <laughs> well, they just have to arrange it. Actually, the Satellite Beach Fire Department will come and get it and take it to the beach for you and pick it up and bring it back. That is so wonderful. And what, um, where is the Satellite Beach Fire Department located so people can find it? That's at the corner of South Patrick and Cassia Boulevard. So when they call ahead maybe or email mm -hmm. yes. ahead to arrange to, to borrow it? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sure that was a costly wheelchair, obviously. So, how do you go about fundraising? Uh, well, that's basically what uh, what Lions Clubs, local Lions mm -hmm. Club, do do. They uh, they raise uh, funds, and basically we use those funds locally, and in support of uh, Lions Club International. And uh, actually, about uh, seventy five percent of our uh, the money we raise is uh, used locally for local project service projects and uh, donations to uh, local charities. Do you have events? Uh, we do. We almost always have something going on. Yes, going on, yes. Uh, we, uh, this past Saturday we just participated in the uh, uh, Women's Club Marketplace uh, selling uh, hamburgers and sodas. Wow. Uh, we uh, do, uh, we have usually two uh, pancake breakfasts uh, a year, spring and fall. Our uh, biggest fundraiser is our golf tournament, 
and uh, we're always looking for whole sponsors and corporate sponsors for that. Where is that going to be held? Uh, it will be at the Habitat okay. uh, Golf Course uh, down in uh, Valkyria. Wonderful. Uh, in February, mm -hmm. we have, have a uh, big car show that is chaired by Lance. In March, we have a uh, theater night, which is uh, a play at the Surfside uh, Playhouse and a very large uh, buffet dinner. And then also you were telling us something about um, some benches that you um, put into place? Yeah, we purchased uh, benches in the city of Satellite Beach on Cassia Boulevard. And it runs, they put a new sidewalk, it's a very nice sidewalk, and it's in an area where people can stop and rest as they're walking along. And we have some more benches to go in at some of the city parks that aren't finished yet. Wonderful. We also have a, uh, a service project that we stole from the Women's Club. <laughs> oh, uh, good. Tell us about they, that. <laughs> uh, it's uh, teacher grants. Yes. And uh, they service uh, Satellite High and uh, Delora Middle School. And we provide uh, eight $250 teacher grants to the four elementary schools. Which is fantastic because those teachers are a lot of times the obligation is on themselves. Oh, yeah. Are there any extra, anything like that? How many members are in your club? Currently we have about 41. How often do you meet? Uh, we meet the uh, first and uh, third Tuesdays, uh, 6.30 p.m. at the uh, uh, Doubletree Inn. And we are a dinner club. I was going to say, so your members obviously can bring in guests, correct? Yes, certainly yes. guests are and, always and welcome. And hope that you're going to they're going to join. Yes. 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 Is there a membership fee for the Lions Club? The annual membership is about a hundred and four dollars, uh, which may sound a little bit high, but one of the unique features of Lions Clubs is that one hundred percent of the funds raised from the public is returned to the public through our service projects and donations and that sort of thing. Exactly. And uh, the Lions pay for all of the uh, all of the administrative fees and everything like that through their own donations from themselves. And what kind of donations do you take from the public besides money? I, uh, do you still deal with the eyeglasses? We, we do, do eyeglasses. Uh, mm -hmm. We collect uh, uh, oh, we have thousands of eyeglasses a year. We have uh, sites, a number of sites throughout the county, uh, our club and other clubs, uh, Publix, uh, several eye doctors and places like that. So people can just drop off their old eyeglasses mm -hmm. and then you give them to doctors and they get a prescription in them that's right for someone it, they need? It actually, they get cleaned and polished and graded in, in a lion's, uh, lion's uh, club, or not, not a club, but they're actually... Facility. Using, the facility. Okay. And at that time, then it depends on what the need is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, they a lot of these glasses will go out of the state or out of the country, depending on where the need is. Because okay. our club alone raised it. We I think we were over four thousand this last year Fantastic. that we collected. Well, you know, just to um, get an idea of what it is that we can do for you, because obviously this is about our community as well that we're doing this. So to wrap this show up, what can we do for the Lions Club of Satellite Beach? Mm, you can publicize our uh, fundraising efforts. Right. Uh, you can say we're always open to new members. How can we get a hold of you? That we have a Facebook page, Satellite Beach Lions Club. The car show has a Facebook page, Saddle Beach Lions Club Car Show. And our our e clubhouse site is kinda hard to remember, but if you go to the if you if you Google us you'll find it. But it's a very long, long website. But that's how you can get a hold of us. And um, and another thing it's very exciting this year, uh, that I'm the president and my uncle was the first president in nineteen sixty. Oh my gosh. And it's also a great year because two thousand sixteen seventeen is Lions uh, is one hundred years old. Oh wow. That so we're we're starting a new chapter. Wonderful. And we also uh, post all of our flyers for fundraising events on Facebook and they always have a contact number. So we're asking all our friends to obviously please go ahead and look up the websites that were just mentioned to you. Definitely like their Facebook page. They're doing fantastic things for the community. 
and it's all about that. It's, a, you know, obviously giving a hand, you know, to someone that's in need, and I thank you both for that, and thank I'm sure. You. Yes, absolutely, and I, and I can uh, say, you know, I, I work with the Center for the Visually Impaired. We've had events where we couldn't get visually impaired people to the event, and I call the Lions Club, and they go pick them up. We just had an event, White Cane Awareness Day. I needed um, some support with that. Call the Lions wow. Club. They show up. So they will be there to help, and uh, um, please check them out. Please join. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much.